So I'm standing at the intersection of Varick Street, Carmine, and Clarkson, this weird offset intersection. And if you're looking for the place that shows the failure of New York City to have any sort of traffic management policy, this is the spot. I work in this building right over here, 225 Varick, and every day it's just a complete disaster. Cars, bumper to bumper, barely leaving any room for people on foot to cross. If you're on foot, if you're healthy, if you're able-bodied, someone like me, it's inconvenient enough and it sucks. But if you're uh, in a wheelchair, if you walk with a cane, if you're towing children, pushing a stroller, it can be pretty much impossible to cross the street at any one moment. And not just for a couple of minutes and maybe you have to go a little bit out of your way, but in every direction and for hours. It's completely unfair and we've completely... Turn the wheel. I mean, you can see. Turn the wheel. You moron. And what you see here is not the weather. Right? This is predictable, this happens every day. This is a failure of policy. This is what happens when you don't charge people anything to drive through Manhattan. Okay. Yeah, and what's crazy is you can just hear the honking. Someone just leaning on their horn. And that's what we all have to deal with here in our offices. People who live in the apartments over here, people at the rec center at the pool. It's really unhealthy to be around that much noise, this much pollution, uh, this much stress, just living your daily life. You're walking a dog. We just saw someone have to pick up their dog so it won't get crushed under the wheels of a car or somebody doesn't see it. I mean, it's just, there's nothing about this that's pleasant for anyone, human or animal. How long have you guys been kind of in this spot? Half hour. So you have barely moved like an inch in a half hour. I've been working right here on the corner, I had no choice, I was parked here. When we talk about congestion pricing and we hear people say that it's a tax on the working class New Yorkers, I mean, how much is anybody's time worth? Would you pay four or five dollars so that you could move a little faster? If you're sitting in traffic and you're moving three inches in a half hour, no joke, um, I'd imagine that's worth a few dollars to you if you're a contractor, if you're trying to get home from work. 